Look, look what we have, chat. Look, we got a little, uh, look, we got a little document and everything now. Chat stuff is actually happening. Yeah, so Chow made a little spreadsheet for us, and we're gonna we're gonna do some work on it today. We're gonna add to it. So, uh, Mr. Chow, who made this lovely uh, little Google Doc for us, has requested that we fill this sheet out. Flashbang. We have the American flag. <laughs> The good builds, the freedom builds. We have the British flag. <laughs> and they're just okay. And then we have the risky builds. <laughs> the Australian flag. Go back, I can't see. Alright, I'll go back, I'll go back, I'll go back. So anyway, anyway, Chaz requested that we uh that we add to this. Alright, first build on the sheet. You ready boys? It is a low life crit ice spear pathfinder. It has 20 million deep. Wait a minute. Is this the my? Is this what is this? I'm I'm just, I don't get it. It uses forbidden right to proc custom damage taken. So you spam forbidden right. Does this work? Does this not kill you? I don't get it. Do you have like max recoup or something? Oh, you have recovery from Pathfinder. So you don't die because you have sorrow of the divine. And then you spam forbidden right to proc cast an image taken. I, I assume you're using the bismuth to cap your resistance. <laughs> okay, well, you know where this goes, boys. Hey, our first Australian build. G'day, mate. Cast on damage taken, ice spear pathfinder. All right, our second build chat. This is. Is this that build you guys linked me the YouTube video for? Is it this build? Looks like this build. Does risky mean bad? No. No. So this is an Uber. Oh dear god. Alright. He's got the damage. So how come you don't use Echo Forge? Because last time I saw this build, you went Echo Forge. Is the plus one totem? Is it just because the utility and plus one totem outweighs it? Totem is a lot of damage. I see. I will put this in good. Okay. I will put this in good. Do do we agree? Is this is this a British build, mate? It's, it's a fine build. In it. Link him the mapping. Link me the mapping. How is it hitting the whole screen? Just, just splash? Is it just splash? Next build, next build, chat, next build. We gotta, we gotta pump these out, chat. We gotta pump these out. These aren't even gonna be build guides. They're just gonna be POBs that people can like, I don't know. They can like Google it again. <laughs> Crit Reap Chieftain. I give this an okay already, man. I'll just say right now, this is okay. No, actually, risky. Because it doesn't work without Spell Cascade. This gets a risky. This is risky as f Yeah, you, you need like so much gear. Expensive. AF. Alright, next build chat, next build, next build chat. Here we go, USA. Oh, this is USA. Do we have our first USA build? Bomb crit Armageddon brand Hierophant. Jung Roan. Goddamn right, that's USA. Goddamn right. Jung Roan. Crit Armageddon brand. Hairy infant. It's made for everyone but Jung. <laughs> no, what do you mean? It's sick, dude. This is not USA. This is this is either risky or British. What's the helmet? Gives you uh can it be frozen and some other cool shit? AU. Oh, we're thinking AU. Alright, this it's decided. Hexablast Inquisitor. He's Australian LA mapper. Oh, this is excellent formatting. <laughs> Frit Lightning Arrow Deadeye. I like it. I like it. I like it. It looks very generically strong. I don't even know if this is risky. Is this even that risky? I think this might be British. All right, next build, next build. Iron Mass Skeleton. Oh, this has got like multiple. Oh my, no way. It's like PUB on a website. It even shows the notes and everything. Um, That looks like Gazzies. How insane are the clusters? They look very basic. Like good, these are good clusters, but nothing like. I, I wouldn't call this a risky build. I, I think this is British. I. No, it's not, it's not S tier build, you know, it's not, it's not like, 
the best League starter you can possibly play. But it's good. It looks very good. I see no nothing wrong with that. There's no. I don't think it's very risky at all. <sighs> Yoinked from Ben in case Snipe is good. Oh shit. Okay. Puncture champion. What year is it? Is it 2019? Wait, what year is it, chat? Where am I? Where am I? What's going on? Is he using Rain of Arrows? What's he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, holy shit. I haven't seen this build since I opened Dan's profile in the year 2019. Does it even have damage? How come there's no damage number? There's no f way he has 13 million, right? Wait, really? Explain. Quantric at 25. Use Quantrick's PUB. How? Even without Snipe, he has 4 million bleed. Has bleed? I, I, it's a level 30 Snipe. It's a level 20 Snipe. Snipe is a new support. Okay, so hear me out. Watch this, ready? 24 million. I mean, you would lose a, a link, but you don't because you have a gem now. But even, even if you were to lose a link, like, how come people aren't playing this right now? Is this... Okay, is this a case, chat? Let me, let me ask you guys a question. Is this a case of a build being actually really good, but nobody playing it because we're all, the whole population, all of you, me included, we're all metacucks, everybody, and it's actually good the whole time. And everybody didn't play it. Like, the whole universe was like, eh. I'll just play Corrupting Fever. Like, everyone, no one made a good bleed build. Even though you could. You literally could this whole time. And nobody did it. No one did it. Just because Corrupting Fever is better. That's, like, that's all it took. I mean, even if you don't run Snipe, it's still 6 million DPS, apparently. Does anyone have any reason not to put this in S tier? I, I, I will put it in UK, because I don't want to bait people. <laughs> I can't believe it! Alright, uh, who cares about nerfs people run Poisonous Concoction? This is risky. Here's Nick's DD. Oh, I already watched this video, boys. 8 million DPS! 57k armor, 20k evasion, 5.6k life. Cap suppression. It's a good build. Hell yeah. DD Elementalist. AU's kind of, um, the AU section of the spreadsheet is filled with some of the best builds in the game and some of the worst builds. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's why it's the risky section of the tree. Am I right, guys? Explosive Trap Trickster. Viper Strike. 4 million DPS, 5k life, 40k armor, 20k evasion, cap spell suppression, good res, pinnacle, basic as fuck gear. This is good. Nah, that's good. UK bruv, eh? Yeah, it feels so dirty putting Quantrix bleed bow champion and then a fucking Viper Strike. <laughs> Viper Strike Pathfinder. Maybe we need to re tier this list. Doom Blast Pathfinder. I think this is, this is definitely UK. Let's take a look. So you've got full conversion or close to it for your Fizz DR. For your avoidance, you're just recovering flask life, right? So when you get hit, you heal. So you don't need ev evasion. And you have Intemp Chains and Feeble as well. How are you leveling it is my question. I mean, you basically just need the Vixens. What's your mana cost? Zero. So you got the mana cost here. You've got the anoint here. You go down here for suppression, cause yeah. Plus two leg level of socketed support gems is a damage multi. What's your end game weapon then? Oh, that's so cool. And you have 19 million. I think it is, it is easy S tier. I think it's easy S tier chat. Easy S tier. Why? Cause I played it one time, so I'm biased. What do you guys think? I just realized it's been so long that people don't know where 202 came from. Yeah, so if you have you ever wondered why we use Global 202 for events like Gauntlet? Yeah, yeah, so it used to be my Twitch name. It used to, my Twitch name used to be Steel Mage 202. And then I, you know, I did the streamer thing where I'm like, 
Well, yeah, let's see. I'm actually a really important person, Twitch. So uh, if you can just kindly steal the name from the poor bloke who got it originally and give it to me because I'm the important person. That other guy. I did that thing, chat. So, yeah. I'm a very streamer. I'm a very... I think it was, an, it was an inactive account, chat. So it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's actually not a bad balance of builds. You know? Any more builds, chat? Why are 98% of the builds Australian? Okay, it's not 98%, alright? You have the good builds, alright? These are builds that I will... They, they work. They work. You could link start every single one of these builds. With, you know, obviously the... You need a Vixens for this one, but you could link start every single one of these builds. This is the riskiest one here, but it, it just needs a Vixens. If you have a According Vixens, it's fine. God. Then you have okay builds. These are builds that are well built. They're solid, but that, you know, maybe you need like an item. And it, it, like, maybe it doesn't perform as well as the other starters, right? And the risky builds just have something sussy. Didn't I say they were totally going to nerf Impending Doom? And then they kind of didn't. They didn't really nerf last league builds that much, did they? They did with the mastery nerf. You said you would league start it. I'm not gonna leave it, start it. Or am I? So you guys are making me question my entire life. Longer Don't do it. It's the same build but worse. You play it to 100 already. You talking about my SRS build? Cause that's the one I'm gonna league start with. Oh <laughs> uh, shit, no opinion. Yeah, but the jerk Vera is my other league starter was SRS, right? You know, I'm doing bone shed into SRS. I want to. What was this, um, hang on, what's this spreadsheet again? Oh my god, you have 207 movement speed with a staff. No transcendence. Yeah, it's not the best hardcore build anymore. But it's still a good softcore, I mean, it's a really tanky softcore build. Like your fizz mitigation is insane. Like you're, you're actually literally, as, you're, you're, you're tankier than I was last league with coil. Your LA mitigation sucks now, basically. But it's not even that bad. Duration is just for Quicksilver. Did you get another fast quail? Oh, you did! How do you get spell suppression cap? Flask. Oh, what did I have here instead? A granite. Oh, you don't need a granite. This is such a softcore build now. God, I just kind of want to play Impending Doom. But I have to be such a cuck. Yes, I, so chat, so this is the problem. If I play Impending Doom Pathfinder, the build is dog shit without the gloves. And so basically, I have to just beg for the gloves. But that's so f cringe, man. Oh. Is that not the whole point of chat SF? No. If you guys think the whole point of chat SF is for me to beg my Twitch chat for gear, then you don't have a very high opinion of me. No! Oh. Chad, I kinda- I, I would not mind playing a build like this, hey? I'll be honest with you. It does look- uh, it looks like a higher DPS version of um, my build from last league. But obviously with um, with less elemental mitigation, but that's- like, who gives a fuck, honestly? The amount of flask effect you get too, man. Like, he has 90- he has- Chad, his flasks have 97 effects. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, I don't think haste. I think haste is massive bait, dude. I'll be honest with you. Man, he has ten percent more damage too against bosses. By the way, you are literally dot capped. I'm playing this bird. I think chat. I'm just gonna be a piece of shit. It looks so good, man. I am your piece of shit streamer. <sighs> Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Again, it's, it's one item. What's you know? What's the worst that could happen? It's one item. It's one item, it's one item.